Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 12 of our... I almost said High Elves, but we are the Elves of Lothlorien campaign in DCI at the Last Alliance. I'm sorry if I sound a bit different, I have some throat issues, some minor throat issues, don't be too alarmed. Um, so yeah, I hope my voice holds out for the next hour, but I think it should be fine. Alright, where were we? Right, so we're kicking some Dwarven ass, besieging the Iron Hills, which should be about, you know, eight more turns. Maybe we're not going to wait those eight turns, maybe we'll attack at some point, because I don't want to be stuck here, you know, eight turns is quite a long time. Then again, there is eight turns of free upkeep, and eight turns I can try to fix my economy. So, strategically speaking, I should probably wait out the eight turns. Now, I also... Actually, I'm going to talk about the Fog of War, because it's kind of interesting to see what's going on. I don't think I did it last time. That was one thing that I forgot about, Alex pointed it out to me, that, of course, the uh, Dwarves of Casa Doom also have a colony at Ered Luin. They don't quite hold Buzradum, or is it called here Baraz Doom? Oh, the game's quite laggy, I think it's trying to calculate some pathing. Um, let me just select the settlement. There we go. That's much better. So they also have a colony here at Luin, Kibble Doom, Dark Doom, which of course becomes Thorin's Halls or Durin's Halls, I can't remember quite. Uh, Sitchak. So yeah, that's still the thing. There's also Dwarven thingies here at Eregion, they have... What do they have? They have Austin Ethel and Beric. Oh, so it's two settlements. I didn't know Austin Ethel was a thing. Um, so yeah, just because we're gonna kill him here and here doesn't mean that we run out of dwarves to kill. There's still plenty of dwarves to kill. I'm not gonna venture all the way across there or even gonna try and take on Biddick and Austin Ethel. And having them alive is actually kind of useful to keep off Enid Wyth. Um, it seems that Numenor has actually decreased a little bit, but they should have now more room to expand with the threat of Mordor contained. But yeah, we are doing quite well. We are pretty much the largest faction at this point, at least in, in size, maybe not in amount of settlements. We are doing rather well. So my plan for now is to take down the dwarves here and here. Then probably get a peace alliance with them just to kind of chill out a bit. We can be friends again. Um, I think they very much regret what they started. What's that settlement over here? Far away. Is that what Sauron shows? It shouldn't be, because Sauron is very much alive. No, doesn't matter. Um, and what we'll do then, because someone else pointed out, and I sorry I forgot your name, that something I completely missed is that we also need, one of the victory conditions, is not only hold 30 regions, which I was just going for, we need to eliminate Mordor, so <laughs> that's going to take a, a fair bit. So I'm not sure who will fight after we are done fighting the Dwarves, perhaps the Hillmen of the North, perhaps the Rune Confederacy, uh, Erengard and Ravanian, those are my friends, same with Numenor, the High House as well, everyone else is kind of free real estate, you know. Men of the Mountains, we can also attack them. We could go after Harad as well, but they might be a little bit too difficult. But for now, we shall, of course, focus on fixing our economy, taking down the Dwarves, having a Diplomat ready at Birik. Yeah, is that a spy? That's a Diplomat. Good. I think they'll accept the peace. If not, yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just end the turn, I guess. How many more turns is Grad Ames? Six. Do I want to wait? I probably don't have my siege equipment ready yet. Yeah, we don't wait for Grarames. That's gonna. That, that serves no purpose. That army is not a Tolakan army anyway. Anyway, this will probably be the last video before my one week break. I don't think I'll have time to record one more. So, yeah, don't be alarmed. There will be a bit of a hiatus after this video, after this upload, but I will be back. I do very much want to finish this campaign. Not sure what I'll do after that. I might do another campaign, that would probably be a Dwarven campaign, seeing as I think that's the only faction that hasn't really been cleaned yet on YouTube. We failed our mission, that's alright. Um, but I might do something else entirely first. I was thinking of doing the Great War mod, which is a mod for Napoleon Total War. Uh, yeah, you keep moving. A mod for Napoleon Total War, set of course in World War One. Um, so that's something that I'm considering as well. I'm also looking into perhaps, if people are interested in that, streaming. I've never done it before, I have gotten some questions about it, like, hey, is you gonna ever stream? Oh, we don't really need this, unless it gives, like, anything else, not just culture. Don't need that. Um, so it's something that I'll look into, and I will probably have an entirely different campaign that I'll do for streaming. Uh, and then, of course, also those recordings of the streams will be uploaded on YouTube as well, so nobody really misses out on anything. Um, I don't want to separate my content ever. So, yeah. Let's get a ballista actually, in case Mordor breaks, breaks out. And uh, they bring in some trouble. Actually, no. You know what? Let us skip this and let's spend our money in the Wormvale because there's a lot more room for expansion here. Good. 
Alright, are we the most advanced faction? We are. Of course, of course. Who would win? Some 3,000 year old, highly trained, highly elite high elves, fancy dancy, or some forest dwelling stinky elves. <laughs> Maybe we're not stinky. Just a little bit. Alright, another turnover. We're blazing past the turn, man. And I feel like Numenor, like, they really should be expanding like crazy now. They can take anyone on. They don't, oh, well, I guess they are being invaded, that's true. But without Mordor, the enemy is seriously crippled. I've kind of broken the balance of the game. I feel like the good factions really should have free reign now. I mean, we are slaughtering each other. Needy. Send an assassin to hasten this man's journey into the next world. Wow. Wow, they want to assassinate a dwarf? <laughs> uh, it's going to take too long for an assassin to get there, I think. How many more turns do I have? I have 10 turns. I could try, sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, because that guy's blocking you? That's okay, you don't need to be... No, oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, it, it would be a separate campaign entirely. If I do stream, it might be a separate game as well. I don't know. This is That's really like... I've been doing YouTube for many, many years. I've taken hiatuses and all that stuff, so it's not like a consistent uploading. But I do have experience with it. I know how to render my videos, I know how to upload them, I have an idea of how the YouTube algorithm works and how to feed the beast. But for for streaming, I don't even know what platform is in these days. Is it still Twitch? I don't know. I don't watch streams that often myself. Why did I have that attack in general? But yeah, it's something I'd like to test out. And if people like it, great. If people don't like it, I mean, I've tried it. And people can't be like, you never give it a shot. Alright, so we still have some cash to spend. Let's actually go over all our settlements. Do 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 do. Ethelon, no. Imbergathol, nothing there. 2.5k. It's going very slow. I mean, we are in the second age, I guess, so. Then again, in the second age, the elves should be at their, their peak terms population. It doesn't really get any better from here. And uh, let us get the leather tanner. That ballista maker is done very quickly. Can't even get a ballista. Alright, and another end turn. Just blazing past. But yeah, I mean, someone else pointed out that my entire economy is built around tall cards giving free upkeep. <laughs> That's my Izionomics. Who is that Numenorian in general there? It looks like he has a custom... A custom model. Perhaps that's like a Lendi Lord in Uh not yet, not yet. Soon, 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 soon. Don't worry. That's so nice. They're like, hey, you wanna stop slaughtering us? I'm like, nah, I kinda wanna keep killing you for about eight more turns. Oh no problem. We won't bear any grudges, that's fine, that's okay, we understand. <laughs> These dwarves are really nice. Normally dwarves are not very much the forgiving kind, but these dwarves that kinda brings me smoothly. Smoothly? Smoothly, I don't even know what I'm going to say. That segues nicely, dwarves holding grudges, into perhaps Warhammer content. Um, Warhammer 1 I very much like. Warhammer 2 is a little bit too big for me. I sometimes get lost in it. Um, but I wouldn't mind doing that either on stream. Those dwarves are a whole lot less nice. Ah, the Grey Mountains got upgraded. And we can't do anything? Oh, we can. Oh, look, it's now an Elven Settlement. If I can just get my camera there. Nice. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. The trees and the mountains. What can we get? Barracks, night stables, practice range. Ooh, forget practice range. We can already get march wardens. And lauren and archers as well. Oh. Let's start with some farms first. We want to make sure that our economy does not solely depend on Tolakan upkeep reduction. We want to have a bit of an extra, you know, a bit of a backbone. Kazadum. Alright, let's get the... Hmm. Nolder warriors are quite nice. Let's get a Ballista Maker. It's pretty good against Dwarves as well. Uh, let's, let's take a look at that Custom General. Who are you, stranger? Aratan. Oh, his royal kin. Minorian Guardians. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, assassin. Yeah, you keep moving. Let's take a look at how many more turns. Three and five. So let's just keep blasting through that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, as always, if you have any recommendations or just anything to improve the channel, I really want to make the channel as good as it possibly can be. And for now, 
in my opinion, that is to just pump out a lot of content. I kind of take pride in my, my daily uploads, you know? Every day you get at least one video, except for, of course, when I'm on vacation. I do have some videos lined up, but not nearly enough to bridge the entire seven, eight days that I'm gone. Um, but there will still be one special video coming out tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. I won't spoil it just yet, but it should be pretty fun. Uh, 12k, we're never going to get that. I will lower the tax rate just to make it a bit quicker, if we ever get it. But Thornburg, Garrison Court is nice. Might as well get the boy of that. Because in, in case you ever want to attack Mordor again, that is the best way to go about it, I guess. Mount Gundabad. Get some farms there. Very fertile land indeed. Edible, we'll get a market. We do have trade rights with Rovanian, right? And Edin Garden? We should. Uh, yes. Yes. We even have military access with them. I didn't know that. I guess they spawned us with that. Alright, so two more turns for Grar Ames. Actually, why am I waiting with Grar Ames? I specifically said we were not going to wait. Let's go in there, what the hell? Alright, I'll see you all on the battlefield. Yeah, this is why you shouldn't record videos very early in the day. Because <laughs> you just kind of forget that you were like, hey, we're not going to siege them out. I'm going to run in there. The last of the mercenaries. Bloody annoying. Alright, let's uh, try and shoot them. Because they're going to try and shoot us. Let's not give them that. Get closer. Um, I have another batter. Oh, come on, guys. We could batter a part of the gate, uh, the wall down as well. Do I want that? Sure. All right, come on, lads, get in range. No, they're just talking like robots. Don't do that. Come on. You should be in range, right? You're elves. You're elves of Lothlorien. Especially the March Warden should be able to shoot them. All right, whatever. Um, let's get the spears. Those guys will be toast in no time. Can they fire at us? No, they can't. Okay, good. This is very much a strange sight. Dwarven settlement with, like, no dwarves, only... Oh, wait, there should be a dwarf on the horse. Yeah, dwarf on the horse. Like, he can't even properly sit in the saddle. This is hilarious. Actually, Nil sent me a, a picture yesterday of... In, in Third Age of the War, Reforged, which is the multiplayer-focused um, mod, sub-mod, the Hobbit folk can get a unit, a heavy cavalry unit, that is the Eagles, the Great Eagles. And when your general unit is the Great Eagles, it's actually just a Hobbit that has taken place on top of the Eagle and just kind of chills there and flies into battle. It's actually pretty cool to see. And you might see a video on them very soon. Oh, my archers are getting toasted. Return fire, you doofuses. Kill them. Slay the ball. That's okay. These casualties don't matter too much. I might disband some of these units. Save some cash. I don't really need them anymore. This is now part of the secure heartland. The alliance between wood elves of different regions. There we go. Let's end it. Who did it the most? It's all very small numbers, but the border archers killed the most at 18, and they also lost 18, so balance in all things indeed. And there we go. Grarheims is now ours. Um, gosh, what do we do? I think Occupy is fine, because I think it has a lot of our culture still. Nope. 30%. A lot of Mordor culture. Uh, then again, it was part of the Orcs of the Misty Mountains for a long time. So let's get some culture in there. These uncultured swines must be taught the ways of the elves. Actually, let's repair the walls. Because we had a bit of a mess there. Uh, mountains don't like me. That's good. Uh, so Numenor is number one. Financially, Kingdom of Khazad-dûm is still number one, but we are 58% of their, their capital with only 38 k Just to show how poor some of these factions are. Four more turns. Did they just get a bunch of new units? Feels like they did. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Completely surrounded off. Poor guys. Now imagine we could let this hate loose upon Mordor. They wouldn't stand a chance. Actually, Rune doesn't have that many regions. It's very large. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the same as Rovanian. So this purple blob is basically as large as this blob, unless I didn't calculate it predict uh, correctly, which is also possible. All right, let's get some of these elites. 
Uh, should probably get a blacksmith there just to make sure the elves are dicked out in the finest armor we can afford. And let's end the turn. Yes, yes, keep moving. Governor's everywhere as well. You need to fix this economy. Oh, I heard the uh, the siege sound and then it zoomed to a lethal. I'm sorry for the plate flying over. And I thought someone was besieging a lethal, but luckily no one is. Good, good, good. Nice, so the center of Middle Earth is just entirely green now. Ancient allies. Uh, it's more about the end. Send the parts of the Fangorn settlement. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do that because Ents crashed the game. Sadly, I'd very much like to use Ents. But... Which is odd because I thought they worked in the same fashion as Trolls did, but I guess they don't. Uh, three more turns for that. We'll just wait them out. Money, money, money. Karen Lori got upgraded. Nice. Very fancy castle there. Let's get some crops. Tidith and Ween getting a port, very nice. Should see a steady increase in income there, the Worm Veil. Let's get a market as well. I very much want to market myself towards the men of Ravanian. Uh, Dale, let's get a vineyard. The men of Dale do like their wines, don't they? Alright. Uh, we've got two generals there. I'll send one to the Grey Mountains to govern there. I'll send these lads south, except for the woodsmen. Uh, for retraining. Because they are decent, they have some armor upgrades and all that jazz. They got some experience. I guess it would be a waste to uh, let them go. Oh, they're unhappy. Let's fix that real quick. I'm really surprised the Dwarves haven't tried to push. We could go for Austin Ethel if we really want to, but I don't see it being worth it. We'll just take the Iron Hills and then go for a ceasefire. If a lethal. But I thought I'd build a ballista maker there. I guess I did something wrong then. Let's build it now. Alright, let's end the turn. Let us end the turn. It's a bit more peaceful and quiet than Divide and Conquer is, I feel. Maybe that's because of the factions we're playing as and Mordor being <laughs> contained. But it feels like... And that's probably the fact because there are less factions. The map is also a bit smaller. There are less factions, so things are a bit more quiet, a bit more calculated, which I don't mind entirely. Divide and Conquer often is balls to the wall. You need to keep moving your units all the time. Alright, Fort Ningle ready to upgrade. Yeah, we are making good progress. Ammon Castle. So I'd love to get some more... Some more buildings that give me increased money. Because once the Tolakan's over, we are going to be in the red again. And I don't want that. Grarames. Oh no, it's, that can't be. That can't be. Grarames is slightly more important than a barracks in... What is it called? Salon Bizarre. That's a competition. Perhaps we can afford like cheap building. Ah, oh, the studio. That's actually pretty good. Art culture is fairly low. Two more turns. Oh, I feel so bad for it. Look at that! <laughs> they're just completely surrounded. Yeah, they're definitely getting more units. What? How does that make sense? I feel like I'm missing something. Why do they keep... Is that... Per no... Perhaps, uh, one thing that came to mind is if more units besiege the settlement, they get more and more troops, but they're not besieging it. I'm the only one besieging I'm the only one doing anything. I don't even at war with the dwarves, technically. No, they're not. So I've kind of broken the game again. As in, they're on a crusade, but they're not really into it. That's like going on a crusade to Jerusalem, but not declaring war on Egypt, for example. They're like, ah, eh, Saladin, you're a pretty cool guy, I'm just gonna leave you alone. What? They're just kind of chilling there. Makes no sense. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I feel like there should just be um, a part of the Tolakon script that says, you know, you cannot get a ceasefire with factions that you're on a Tolakon with. Or a Tolakon against, I should say. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. The dwarves will fall. The dwarves of the east, at least. The dwarves of the west will hold on a little bit longer. Which, more accurate. A little bit, I guess. Another general. Ooh, it's pretty old already. 44. And again, that is a very young age for an elf. Let's see. We're going to get governors everywhere at this rate. gradim has got one. Grey Mountain's got one. Salon Bazaar got one. Uh, Wormville has not got one. Dion has one. Erebor has not got one. I think I'll send you to Erebor. Erinian. Uh, no, Erinian is actually the old one. But this guy's a better governor. Alright. 
Watch Hound of Juan. Descendant of the mighty Juan, or the kin Wolfhounds of Valeno. Nice. Got a skeleton. I uh, can get a dockyard there. That might be good. It's rather expensive. That goes with most of our cash. Oh, bugger. Mount Gundabad. At one point we'll be able to retrain these units at Gundabad. Gundabad's actually going to become a fairly strong settlement, I think. Although it is labelled as a large city, not a castle. Alright, this should be the last turn of the Iron Hills. Anything else I want to do? I don't think so. Uh, I know I can max my economy a little bit better. You know what I'll do? I'll send you to Tirith Anduin. Uh, don't go through that land, please. You can cross here somewhere, right? No? You really can't? Go round, really. It's not worth angering the people of the south there. Turn 100. Beautiful. And then we can get peace with the dwarves and we can turn our attention elsewhere. Where, where? I am not sure yet. Either Rune or the Hillman of the North. Oh, they didn't even fight. Let's occupy it. Oh, 3k a pop. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Population will decrease rapidly. Another successful Tonakan. Vengeance has come. 39 units get an experience bonus. Nice. Dwarven volunteers. Yes. Very good. Alright, Amdir. You shall stay around here for a little bit. Probably get some armor upgrades already. Nice. That is labeled as a fortress. That's quite nice. So it's just a better Gundabad. Alassian. Where shall we send you? To be honest, i rather kill... I think the Hillmen instead of Rune. Is Rune at war with Arvanian? They probably are. Yes, they are. Who else is Rune at war with? The Kingdom of Khazadun? Well, that doesn't matter too much anymore. Is it not bordering them? Anywhere close. Alright, let's try and assassinate that one guy first. Who was it? Galman? Nidhi? Oh, he's over there. He's buggering off. I don't think I'll make it there. Where are you, Nidhi? I need you. <laughs> ah, don't wait for that. Oh, that's our capital now. Hello, Thorin. Hello, you want to see? Ooh, actually. It's very generous. <laughs> Can we, like, ask for a region? No, no, we're not going to give a region. I'm going to ask. I want to make you my vassal, but I don't think that's possible. You hold South Tharbad? What? How about Birig? It's balanced. They might do it. No, okay. We'll be nice then. There we go. <laughs> you clearly have a best interest in mind. Well, the judges are out on that, my friends. Okay. The great art gallery. How far does that go? The art gallery. Lord's tables. Where is it? Uh, is it folklore? No, that's something else. Huh. Uh, great art gallery. So for a city, it's a great art gallery. Okay. Quiet Scavenger expansion. Alright, um, Casa Doom. People are fleeing. Why are they fleeing? Squalor. So I think we need more law then. I think that decreases squalor. But I might be wrong. We'll see. Okay, and then in uh, the Iron Hills, probably squalor as well. Eh? But I think I could also fix that by moving my capital. But it, my capital is still pretty much in the middle of my empire. So, not ideal. Alright, anyway. Alassian, I will send you towards the Hillman of the North. If the Arun Confederacy gets a bit antsy, this is more than capable army to withhold them. We also hold Erebor, which has some units as well. Should probably get another spy. But this is Rovanian here, so the map is a bit outdated. Uh, is this Rovanian? No, this is Rune. Okay, good. I mean, not good, but good to know. And then troops of Karas Galathon. I can move you north. Move you south. Should get rid of these guys at one point. At least there's no devastation in this game, I don't think. Although the land's getting a bit blacker. Is there devastation? There is devastation. Right. I'll take care of them once we have the retrained army. So you shall go towards Celeborn. Team up there. Uh, we could take down Litash, for example. Should be too difficult. 486, 644. Alright, so not that good. 
Alright, nice. Let's end the turn. I think. Actually, got some money to spend. Never mind. Tirith and Louis in the market. Farms. Thoromberg is maxed out. Salon Bazaar. I don't have enough money. Wormvale. Let's get a town hall there. Beautiful. Just look at all that green on the map. And green's my favorite color, so that's really nice. That makes me happy to see. Uh, more of uh, Erin Garland green, I'd say. Actually, fun fact, my entire room's painted green. Uh, it's not painted, it's, it's wallpaper. But it is uh, green all over the place. I very much love green. Grass green is my favorite. I don't know why, it just reminds me of spring, and spring is my favorite season. It just makes me happy. Just, just a relaxing color. And I like to relax. Alliance between Numenor and Khazad-dûm. Well, we could go for an alliance as well, to be honest. Not that I think they're ever going to try and attack me. Yeah, they're taking... They have South Tharb out. It's good that they're alive then, keeping those guys busy. Those guys look very Mongolian to be an Edwife, but okay. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, yes, Alassian. You probably got some XP as well. Yeah, you did. From being part of the Tolakan. You did so much. Oh, yeah. Uh, what shall we get here? Let's get the unit pool emptied. Let's get a blacksmith. Because right now, that's how we can make a big difference in terms of troop quality. Smithing. Uh, let's get stables here, because horses are important. I forgot got the pins to make it. Let's get a blacksmith as well. Yes, yes, very good. God has got a thorn. Can I get any more elites? Ah, I can get Noldo. Nice. Ballista. I love Ballista. Someone pointed out when I mentioned to, to uh, in the Discord I was thinking of doing a Great War series, a Great War campaign. It was like, you always love your Ballista in other Total War games. You're going to love the field guns in the Great War. I was like, yeah, probably, probably. I do very much love my artillery. It's something I always bring in like every multiplayer battle as well. I love artillery. Artillery is really good. Alright, the first of the elites have arrived. We shall soon build these buildings here so we can get Loran and Cleavers. Oh, I haven't seen them in action yet. But our culture is still too low. Oh, far too low. Far, 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 far too low. Don't worry, we still have some time before Alessian arrives. And then we can go to war with the Hillmen of the North. Crush them and take their lands for our own. Nice. Yeah, things are going rather well. And I think once we kill the Hillman of the North, we shall turn our eye... Huh, get it? It's a pun. Towards Mordor. And kill them. And that should be the end of the campaign. Uh, I'd wager about... If I had to put a number on it, 100 more turns and we're done? <laughs> I might be way off, though. We'll see. Kind of depends also on how well that Numenor does and uh, High Elves. And what Rune does. If Rune goes to war with us... Man, Nedadir is just adopting like crazy... Oh, it's a different one. Uh, I should have checked where he was. Where is it? There it is. Oh, actually. Hmm. That's right next to Erebor. I was sending over this guy all the way. You go home, man. It's like full of things, though. No. To Amon Castle. Get rid of that rebel stack. Peasant spearmen. With 10 defense. Peasant archers. Okay. Interesting. And then you. Uh, go to Erebor. Nice, 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 nice. Making good progress, lads. Keep plopping down watchtowers so we know what's going on. Holy generals. Oh, misclick. I thought I clicked the general. Um, dude, plop it down. We'll get more here and here and here. Soon, but I do need to make sure that Amdir is in settlement at all times. Because otherwise, people are going to be very pupsetty. All oh, right, yeah. Our income has been gone to shit now. Uh, I'd, look, I'd like to call another Talakon, but... Let's get rid of some of the, the Shidu units. The ones that cost me quite some upkeep, but don't really add anything. Uh, we'll leave some of them. I do want to keep an army there. I don't quite trust... Rune, but we'll call another Tolak on as soon as we can, which will be like five turns, I think. It's not too long, anyway. All right, now that we have peace with Khazad-dûm, let's get an alliance. Nice. So then we can move the troops from Khazad-dûm. Oh, okay, good. 
Um, let's see behind the kind of damaged units, really botched up ones. Move you north, you shall also go north and attack the Hillman of the North. How many times can Izzy say north in one sentence? About three times. More than stay north, yeah, it's all go north. Must all venture north. Ordnance archers, yes. Retrain you, yes. Come on, get over there. Get moving. We're gonna have a very good force. Finally, some elite units being pumped out rather consistently. Alright, Numenor, stop trying to bribe me or whatever you're trying to achieve. I don't know what you want. Yeah, man, Tolakans are the way to go. Imagine being a faction that can't call Tolakans. Ha! Huh. Pathetic. I mean, we were a faction like that in the beginning, but. We have quickly earned the respect of our peers, and they're like, alright, you can be part of our little club. That's, event that's essentially what it is. It's a, a boys' club between Numenor and Noldor, and they're like, eh, we don't really want those other elves to join, but I guess they're kind of useful. Alright, I want to assassinate Belar. Maybe I should practice on a captain first. Does this guy always use this snake? Just because it worked once doesn't mean it always worked. But I do love these cinematics. Please no mouse, please no- Ah, oh, the mouse again foiled! If your entire assassination plot can be foiled by one mouse, perhaps it's not that great of a plot to begin with. It's just a little thought experiment there. Linden loves me. Actually, amiable means they just barely tolerate me. Never mind. Uh, let's get a market there. Always useful. Always useful to sell your goods. Okay, faction announcements. Dancer. Lumbus. Oh, I love Lumbus. And Ethereum, the honorable, got a tax farmer. Nice. Where is that enemy? For that law. Alright, uh, you keep your ass moving towards this place. And then next turn we shall attack this army. Because the ballista is too slow. Oh, right. In the Vining Conqueror, the ballista is just as quick as um, your other units. But in this game, the ballista can't move quite as fast. Which is a shame. Because I love using ballista. And now this army will take... Okay. Oh, because that guy's blocking you? We'll go kill him. Captain Mustak. Captain Mustak. With a name like that, you're just asking to be murdered. I don't need to watch that over there. Yeah, we really can't wait too long with going to war. So I'm telling you, every turn I will check if we can do it all icon yet. No, not yet. And call it upon one of the Hillman regions. Move on, man. Get the free upkeep. Win-win scenario. But yeah, things are slowing down a bit now. But that's okay. It doesn't always have to be action, action, action. We had the one episode with Mordor where it was like every battle took 20 minutes and it was just five battles in a row or something. Now things are a bit more quiet and peaceful, the way the elves really like it. But yeah, we can't keep ignoring Mordor forever. At one point we'll have to deal with them. But of course, doing a Mordor campaign myself, I'm quite experienced with the way they work. Then again, this is an entirely different mod, so yeah, none of that experience really matters. Alright, go to the Anduin. There we go, now we got a garrison everywhere, I think. Nice. Beautiful. Our economy isn't that bad, at least we can afford our units now, that's a step up. Tirith Anduin, I just want money. Was that? That wasn't a fun. They look very similar, the markets and the uh, town hall. Alright then, just a little, we'll get the vineyard, because it does give plus 50 settlement income. Which I think is the same as building income, just a different name. Uh, Alright, those guys arrived. Let's retrain them. All of them. However much I can afford. Good. Yes. Nice. Very experienced warriors. Fully decked out. My lord. My lord. So is the squalor fixed now? No, not quite. Can't lower the tax rate here. So that population is draining pretty rapidly. Mm, yeah. We're still building this, so we'll check in two turns if that fixes it. Alright, I'm a Garcel. We're gonna move this army out. It's time to go to war against Captain Ma here on a bridge of all places. And I don't have any archers, but I do have a ballista. Alright, so the entire plan is just shoot ballista, wait for them to run to us. 
Oh, but this range is actually not that far. Don't fire at me, I swear to God. You're going to start firing at me, aren't you? Don't do that. I want you to run across like a maniac. To be fair, that's what they usually do in the Vine and Conquer, anyway. Is it me or is the Blister Range really a lot shorter? Oh, there we go. Fire away, laddies! Fire away! There we go. It's going to be a good one. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. It's going to be a good one. My bones have never been wrong. Come on then, lads. Yes, load it up. Twist that spring back. Ready to go. And then pull the lever or push the button or whatever mechanism you got going for yourself. Whee! That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. They're like, perhaps we should do something about this. Let's do the good old Rebel Shuffle. Yes, that will work wonders. Stretch the bow a little bit. Make sure the string is on nicely. I do feel a little bit silly having an Elven Army there in the arches. I really could have brought some, but... Ah, well. Who needs arches? It's basically like a very big archer. Basically, that's what it is. It's slightly less accurate, but when he hits, oh boy. It feels like we have a lot more ammo than in Divide and Conquer. Does it say anywhere? No, it doesn't mention it anywhere. I feel like we have tons more ammo, which is great. I guess it kind of offsets the uh, the downside of the ballista being so slow if you get a lot more ammo for it. It's slightly better on one front, slightly worse on another. So they're not going to do anything, alright. That's fine with me, I think I can eliminate the entire unit pretty much. And those spearmen I'm not too worried about. Normally when you bring siege equipment, the AI becomes a lot more aggressive because they're like, we need to do something about this, they're outranging us, outkilling us. These guys, they're just kind of hoping that we'll run out of ammo at some point. Perhaps is not the correct play in this case. Because there's 28 left and I got about slightly less than half my ammo. We are getting experience, but that doesn't matter one bit. Would be cool if they made it more accurate. I think in newer Total War games that is the case. They get to like accuracy bonuses. But here it, it only affects the fighting prowess of the crew. Which, eh, if you're using your ballista crew to fight, you're already in a bit of a pickle, aren't you? Come on. I know it's a smaller target now, but you should be okay. Guess we'll just start running at them after the once we're done using up our ammo. They're only gonna get 18 shots off, 17, 16, 15. <laughs> 14, 13. It's kinda fun. 12, 11. Less and less, 10. Yes, come closer. 9, 8. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, it's so exciting. We have got slightly, slight amount of ammo left. 7. I can't afford to keep missing. No, we're done. Alright, let's run in there. Just cross the bridge. <laughs> They're like, alright boys, time to return fire. Pew, 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 pew. They're like tickling us. Oh, they hurt us. It hurts us, precious. It hurts us. Come on. Running down with the cavalry. Catching the... Uh... There we go. Get out of here, rebel scum. No more devastation. Get out. Come on. Get out. There we go. Boom. That was a quick, easy win. All right. We can keep moving this army up north then. There we go. Drop dead. This is my bridge. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. A free general with 61 men. That's quite big. It's in our bodyguard. Really makes a difference. All right. We can go north. How about you bring these guys? Actually, those Noldor need retraining, don't they? Yeah, they do. So we'll just wait a bit. Nice, we're gonna have some really big armies actually uh, going up against them under the north. Other rebel stack, I can uh, eliminate that. Uh, let's see, and you keep moving. You're gonna take about one, two, three, four, five turns. I think by that time I can call a Tolak on. I think it's like five to ten turns. Uh, so that's pretty good. I might have to teleport that diplomat away because if he's gonna take up my time every time. That's rather annoying. Stop doing that! Ugh, oh, bloody diplomats. 
I understand why the team of Divide and Conquer put a cap on the amount of diplomats. Because good lord, good lord, do they sometimes spam you like crazy. Like this, for example. That's three diplomats. It's kind of bothering us. Stop doing that. Alright, you go to Amangaso. Keep moving north. Oh, so actually a pretty decent army already here. And we've got these lads. We can just do some rebel cleanup, which is quite nice. Quite necessary. Do that next turn. Alright, there we train. Keep up the retraining. Our economy is okay. It's stable. It's getting there. Uh, with more and more governors as well moving into the respective positions, we should be alright. I need to really want to get the art gallery there. No, f like, governor's influence. This should be a pretty decent governor. It's literally our faction leader. It's Omdid, the champion. The beacon of light. Okay. Oh, I feel my voice slipping away. We're almost there, Izzy. We're almost there. Hanging a little bit longer. I think we're just going to end the turn. I don't think there's anything I want to spend my money on. I just want to keep moving my units. Keep retraining them at Karas Galathon. Yeah, I really should get more recruitment slots here. That will be rather useful. Um, we'll keep those guys there for now. We need to free upkeep. Let's check for Talakon. Not yet, not yet. Alright. Yeah, yeah, just keep moving. Um, once we can call the Talakon, they'll get there relatively quickly. We should have all our armies together there. I think we have enough manpower for about two and a half stacks in total. Which I think should be enough, to be honest. Especially if, other, if uh, the Noldor join up. And they lay some pressure on the uh, the hillman as well. I'm not quite sure if the map information is still accurate. I know I toggled Fog of War earlier, but I didn't really bother taking a look there. Agent detected. Oh, you. You're trying to assassinate my faction leader. Can you can you get out of here, you stupid Hashari? Alright. It matters not. I don't care. You can't kill him. Hello, Captain Mustak. Uh, your three Snaga skirmishes. What a beautiful army. You're almost making me cry with how beautiful that is. Such beauty should not be perceived by the mortal eye. Uh, keep moving. Nothing too special going on. Keep moving. Uh, again, yeah. Let's check Tolai Khan as always. Too soon. They're like, nope, not yet. Lothlorien, you're too, you're too hungry for blood and combat. We need to give it some time. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess I can call my personal to that card. Whoever wants to join can join, but I don't want to upset Numenor and uh, the Nordor. I want to keep them on my side because we need them. But yeah, the last lines is looking rather, rather healthy. <laughs> the forces of evil are not quite prevailing. Which is, uh, yeah. Not something I expected. I am watching some other campaigns as well. I'm watching most of Galu's campaign, who's playing as Ravenian. I'll also be watching, because there's only one episode so far, um, the Argonauts campaign, who's playing as uh, Numino. So I'll be curious to see how evil kind of does that. But for now, let's take care of Captain Mustak. Stop running. Shouldn't be too difficult. We do have archers and we have ballista. So I'll see you all on the battlefield. This is a very awkward standoff because they just parked themselves right on this very slope hill. Are they moving? I mean, I guess it makes sense because we are fighting on, well, essentially a, a mountain passage. But it does make it a little bit difficult because I need to get my men into somewhat of a position that they can actually stand without probably falling off the ledge, which, yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, these are an old or just appreciate them. Just appreciate them, they look so good. Oh. I really want to own like a set of armor like that one day. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds weird, I know. Like, what will you do with it? I have no idea. I just put it up as a display item or something. It just looks so good. It looks so good. Well, I think I'd get the golden variant though. If I'm spending money like a madman on something stupid, might as well get it in shiny bling bling gold, right? Oh well. I'll set up a Patreon for it. <laughs> Support is his dream of owning a set of Elven armor. Oh, please don't. Nice. So we have used cleavers before. Huh. So much for short term memory, eh? Alright. Uh, can you hit them? No. You can't. I 
just just go. I, it's gonna be painful getting up this hill anyway. Just go. Just run. The javelins anyway, so we do outrange him. There we go. I guess I hit him now. There we go. That is. That might even trigger a bit of a response from them. I wanted to use my ballista, but are we hitting anything? Oh, we are. Oh, we're getting pretty good hits in. Never very observant. They are being attacked. They're rather smart for the goblins, eh? Alright, don't let them get too close, because then they're going to start flinging their javelins. Which we don't want. Kill them all! Kill them all! Run away! Alright, send in the infantry. Oh, they're going after my ballista. Crap! I completely forgot they were there. Ah! We draw. Abandon the ballista. It's okay. I wasn't attached to it anyway. Quick thinking, Izzy. Quick thinking. Ugh. How often can you say that about me? I'll answer that one for you. Not very often. And they're running. Little bitches. I mean, some of them are running. Not all of them are running. I'm actually getting some kills on my cleavers. What the? Come on, lads. Just cleave through them. They're literally goblins. They're made of jello. Come on. Uh, what else are we dealing with? Uh, okay, they're trying to run. That won't work out. Give them a calf charge, they'll break. Yep, there we go. And then run into them. And they'll rout as well. Uh, let's continue a little bit longer. Just to get to 85, so those guys are gone. No more devastation. And free passage through these lands. I'm not sure where those rebels actually came from. I think they might have spawned just randomly. Alright, let's go back to the strategy map. There we go, 11 losses. Pretty good stuff. Boom. Dead. Let us move north, because there's another rebel stack we need to take care of between Hithagliot and Kirithford and Andrath. I think I'll run off the episode now, because you can tell my voice is really starting to wear on me, so I'm going to stop talking. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a bit more of a, a calm episode, a bit of a quiet. Um, but we took down the dwarves, so we now have ceasefire with them, even an alliance with friends again. Just had to get some, we had to vent some aggression against them. We took a lot of land. We are currently at 24 settlements. We only need six more for this victory condition, but then we of course need to eliminate Mordor as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, which is a lot, and I hope to catch you soon, which will be about a week from now. Do bear that in mind. Bye-bye.